This Saturday, guys, we're doing a power hour live on our Number 6 with Cheese YouTube channel. Come hang out with us for a little bit. 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. Come join the fun and get hammered with us. Power hour time. This guy loves drinking. Uh, today, we're gonna eat a little pizza for you. Uh, we're headed to Coal Fire here in West Town. Uh, we're getting the Naduja pizza, which is, it's actually like the last one on the menu. It's I dicked up. You did? I wanted the one from the the Lakeview, and I got the one from here. Yeah. And it's missing ingredients. I didn't expect them to be different, but they're two different ingredients. Come with us as we explore Naduja Pizza here close to the United Center in West Town, Chicago. Light uh, lens. Say hi. Shawnee Two Chins is here to tell you that one of the Induja pizzas has been acquired. It's right there, jump cut. All right, lights are set up. We got the camera. After dark, baby. Corey Wagner. It's after second. hours. No one says after dark. After baby. dark, baby. Hey, it's Corey and Sean after dark. It's Corey and Sean after hours. After hours, dude. We've been off the clock. Corey Wagner, second angle. Let's open it up. Oh, that smells so unique and interesting, dude. Look at this. this Will you hold this light? I, I'm really effing this shot up. Yeah, dude, I got you. I got you, I got you. We do it ourselves. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna be do Mr. Uh, Johnny Research, as Sean says today. I'm gonna read off some of these ingredients because I can't tell you what any of this is just by looking at it. What we've got here is mozzarella cheese, then we've got Berkshire Induja, which I think maybe is the meat. Yeah, it's I pork. Berkshire is just when that guy from Omaha owns it. Yep. What's his name? <laughs> that old guy who's rich. That has to be right. That's got sauce. Just what do they call it? It's just sauce. Just sauce, yeah. Yep. Chive, which is the green stuff, and mint, bruh. Yeah, mint, big old mint leaves. Whoa. Oh, I can smell mint leaves. Wow, this is wild. So I was told before we had this, now once again, this isn't the one that I was expecting to get. We're gonna try that on move-in day. Kylie's gonna order that for us. Yes, free food. Free food. Um, but I was told not to expect the taste of pizza. I'm fine with that. I'm so. sick of pizza, dude. We had pizza two days ago. Whoa, this is real thin. Holy smokes. What was the old David Tell's show called? David Tell. Insomnia. Tired as hell and I want some water! Oh, you need a water? Yeah! I know, it's kind of like a marathon, you know, doing a whole parade. Oh, why did I think it was called, like, After Dark? <laughs> Tell that was one of my favorites. Just yeah, Naduja no, 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 no. Pizza, twenty bucks. Coal Fire West Town. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, that's super interesting. Mm-hmm. Man, after having that Pizza Hut pizza on Tuesday, this is like a sixteenth of that mm. thickness. Mm. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe how jam-packed this is with flavor. So flavorful. I've said this before. Coal mm. Fire. Mm. is in my top five of pizza spots in Chicago. I think it's incredible, but I'm so glad you picked something I never would have ordered. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, I got a big chunk of that mint. I got a mint plant in my house. My girlfriend's always picking mint off and putting it in dishes. I'm like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, it makes it better. I'm like, why aren't you putting that in a mojito or something? Where, give me some gin. You know what I like about this? This is, I'm gonna say this is the most unique pizza I've ever had in my entire life. It's so good, dude. I'm having another piece. I think each one of these pieces is only about 40 calories because it's thinner than paper. Right. I like when people take chances mm -hmm. and people do unique things. Mm -hmm. I never have before and probably never will have again a pizza like this. Mm. I hope we do. This is great. Yeah, that's pretty good. I dig it, man. I'm definitely excited to try one with ricotta. I'm mad I'm missing ricotta. I love ricotta. The first time we had this place together, we had the ricotta mm. with, the, with the pepperoni and that makes it so good. Mm -hmm. Naduja is a particularly spicy spreadable pork from Italy. Heads up. Heads uh -oh. up. They're backing up. It's a Florida person. Bro, too. I'm already parked in, in the fire hydrant spot. I can't even believe somebody's parking in front of you. This is where some people would park, like if they don't know where to park and they want to go to the United Center for like a Blackhawks game and they come back and their car's gone. And we're trying to film and now I got these goddamn flashing lights. Like, <laughs> look at that screen. <laughs> This guy with his goddamn hazards on. I can't believe this person doesn't know we're trying to film this video. This is funny. You know what? We just move on. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. That was great, dude. I'm excited to take a couple of those home and eat them later. I could keep. I can eat all four of my slices right now. Me too, but I'm with you. I'm gonna save two. That is so light. Like, Where'd my lid go? All right. <laughs> I can't believe we got to deal with these goddamn flashing lights now. If they're just getting pizza from Coal Fire, they'll be gone in a second. Should we just do the rest of this episode in the fucking red light district, I guess? <laughs> I wish, man. Ooh, Hell baby. Yeah. Okay, um, I don't know, man. I kind of think this is a fun flair to the video. Let's just keep it rolling. Yeah. Uh, before we go ahead and rate this uh, Naduja pizza pie, let's do a shout out. Cameo shout out, cameo shout out, cameo shout out. We've got a cameo. It's an awesome way to get shout outs from your two favorite YouTubers. That's right, Corey and Sean. All you got to do is go onto our cameo uh, page, cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese. If you want examples of different types of shout outs that we've done in the past, we have them on there. If you're interested in me spouting off a few, here's a couple abortion announcement, adoption announcement, not getting an adoption, but giving your kid away, uh, which I guess would be more of a Orphanage announcement, <laughs> an orphan yeah. announcement. Wow, I'm orphaning yeah. my child. Can right. you tell them? Yeah. My great grandma had to get that announcement. She got put up for oh putting her door uh, into an orphanage when she was like nine. And she didn't have cameo. <clears throat> To have no, her dad, had, her dad had to man up, get a nut up, and tell her himself. <laughs> Anyways, you, we can do, uh, uh, if you're a dental, uh, like if you're a dentist and you, you're afraid to tell your... Uh, Hygienist. No. Okay. Patient. Patient that he's got cavities? Hire us. We'll yeah. let him know. Well, that person should have their medical license revoked. Mm, why? If they They're have... great at what they do. They just don't want, like they don't like the awkwardness of having to tell someone. That is or a huge part. part of, that's a huge part of the job. It doesn't have to be. That's a good point. Uh, anyways, whatever. Cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and rate that Naduja uh, spreadable pork pizza from Coal Fire uh, out of five. I don't know why I'm thinking of it, but a wild boar. Okay. I know why. Italy's got a lot of wild boars and they put them on pizzas a lot of the time. So why, you know, we'll just say out of five wild boars, how many wild boars do you give the $20 Naduja Coal Fire Pizza West Town, Chicago? Corey. Okay. Um, I thought it was a pretty interesting taste. It's like, I'm glad someone told me not to think of it as pizza because it's kind of doesn't taste like pizza at all. Nope. So I wouldn't, I don't know, man. I can't compare that to your regular old pepperoni pizza that I'm used to. Mm -mm. All I can say is that's really unique. It's worth a try. I wouldn't be getting it all the time as a replacement for my regular pizza orders, but I did enjoy that experience of trying something new, interesting, unique, and delicious. So that being said, I basically don't have anything to compare it to. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a 4.2 wild boar. That place remind. remember that place in Indianapolis that we did the verses of pizzas and they were smaller? And there was that real artisanal art, art, artisan pizza place. Like Coal Fire kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Of they the have name so of that. many different types of pizzas. Oh, that, you, or something dumb. that you'd never ever have. Like so, that's like the only type of pizza I feel like even compares to this. Indie Pizza Infi Posa. Indie Pizza Corey Wagner. The, well, I think one had a clown, a clown hat or something. It did. Wagner. Really. Uh, it'll probably come up. Wow, it did. Bosbo. And, and yeah. then Napoli's pizza. We Napoli's did, we did that like you know, 10,000 views. Yeah. Um, that's what it kind of reminds me of. The whole time, I can't believe my score is lower than yours, but it's not based off of anything other than I just wanted to give it a solid four. There you go. Four wild boars. Um, guys, if you've ever had Coal Fire, let us know. They have like a dozen different pizzas on the menu, and then obviously a different pizza menu from the one up in Lakeview. I want to try the lasagna pizza. Oh, me too. Is this going to be the first place we ever do three times? Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, this is also really close to, like I said, the United Center. So if you want a quick mm. bite, and there's only like 10 tables in there, it's really quick. It's a, smart it's a good spot to go. Um, I just endorse this place. Um, Solid endorsement. Mm -hmm. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Back on Corey's couch for a Bruin review episode. Um, tomorrow we're having, oh, it's another pizza day tomorrow. Yeah, whichever one you did. Detroit style pizza again tomorrow. Detroit style. It's frozen. Pizza. It's from uh, Motor City Pizza Company. Yeah. And then on Saturday, we're doing a power hour. Three o'clock p.m. Eastern Saturday. Sixty shots of beer. Uh, fun stuff happening. Ways for people to kind of get us to take more shots. A lot of different ways to uh, for you guys to incentivize us to get even drunker. Yeah, we're gonna try to get blacked out, hammered. So Saturday, come on by. We'll see you then. But first, tomorrow, the Detroit style pizza, and then Saturday, uh, there's gonna be a bonus video, obviously, of us hanging out. So it's a fun week here at Number Six with Cheese. See you tomorrow. Shut up, Sean.